So the Herman Miller Aeron versus the Herman Miller Embody. I hate catchy phrases, but this is a prime example of why I started this unfiltered channel. And I even got an answer from Herman Miller, which I did not expect. Let's start off with this one. The Aeron is the most comfortable yet ergonomic chair I've ever sat in. It forces you to stay upright. Slouching is unacceptable for it and this one has a mesh design that won't get dirty nor will it be less firm over time. It also has 4D armrests, which means you can adjust it up and down, left or right and even forward. They are also really soft, so that's always good. It's easy to adjust, but while moving it forward, sometimes it's too easy. So you'll end up adjusting that a lot if you grab the chair by the armrests. They are also rounded, which reminded me of those leather chairs with the big armrests. Which in my opinion are never comfortable in a desk situation due to the rounding, sliding under the desk when you push your chair against it or never really adjusting it right because the armrest is not as high on every point. In this case, even though not perfect, I would prefer the M-Body armrests. But these have their own downsides, I'll get to later in this video. The overall shape of the Aeron is very ergonomic. And if you sit on this chair, you instantly get that, yes, this is what my back needed feeling. So one thing with the Aeron is that the lumbar support is much softer than the Embody, which is funny because this one looks as if it's like a harder material, um, but it's really not. It's really much softer and very comfortable. The only thing with this one is that the sides are from this hard plastic. And what that means that you can't really slouch as much um, on this chair as you would with the Embody. And that's because the Embody is much wider than the Aeron. Um, I can slouch if you want, you can, but it's not as comfortable because my toes are kind of like on this side and my leg is on this side pushing against it. But I mean, you're not supposed to sit like this. This chair is really focused on getting the most ergonomic possible position out there. It's funny because everyone that tested this chair at my house really had the same reaction. Don't get me wrong though, it's not a comfortable chair, like a couch is comfortable. If you want that, you should get a leather chair for sure. But as far as comfort goes, while still maintaining a good posture over the whole working session, this is as good as it gets. You can adjust the lumbar strength, the height of the chair, have it freely move with you, set your personal weight, stop it at a certain angle, and even set it forward for if you are working with your hands and still want to maintain a good posture. The Embody is the most unique, awesome looking chair I've ever had the pleasure of owning. Yet it suffers from its own problems, which I'll get to after telling you about the basic features. Like the Aeron, it has adjustable armrests, which goes in a rounding motion. So only in a select few positions are the armrests ever fully straight. There is also no forward or even angling, but what it lacks with the armrests, it makes up for with the seating, which is adjustable, unlike the Aeron. You can grab these handles and extend the seating or move it backwards, making it possible to make the seating bigger or smaller, depending on what you like. Yet it only works while not leaning into it, which makes it kind of awkward to adjust. It also has the personal counterweight adjustment for the back, hold it at a certain angle or freely move it. Of course, you can also adjust the height of the chair with this unique button. Then it has a setting for the back as well, which basically moves the angle of the back more forward, tailored to your liking. Now, something I really like about the Embody is the fact that you can choose the, the length of the, uh, the seat but that comes with a price too because it's gonna make more noise than it already does. Here it is. I mean, that sounds like a secondhand couch and I just bought this one. I mean, it's like a month old. So although it's really flexible the way you want to sit, how big the seat is, I mean, you can choose all that with this chair, but if you buy this chair for like uh, full price, $1,800, or 1800 euros for that example. I expect better. It makes me feel like uh, I just purchased a um, import chair from China for like 200 dollars. 
which is sad because this one I really want to love it I mean the design looks gorgeous it's great but yeah it just kind of fades away from me if you hear I mean yeah I don't know what happens in this chair when you extend the seating or move a certain weight in it but it just makes a lot of noise now I am not sure if this is just a technical error or if they just didn't use enough lubricant but at first I was like well I can fix that myself with some lubricant or whatever but as I told a friend of mine the story he laughed at me and told me you're going to use WD-40 on your new $1800 chair you must be out of your mind and he was right it's of course absurd for the price to have to do all kinds of tricks to make it stop making those noises and also you could maybe even damage the internals or the fabric this is something that must be done when it's produced now i contacted herman miller about this sent them a video and to my surprise i got this answer from customer support our quality team had a look at the noises and it is in the noise tolerance standard of the product so yeah do what you like with that information the fabric on the Embody is really high quality, but also static, which means every piece of dust and hairs will stick to it. You better get your lint roller ready. Now if we're going to be critical, the seating is made up of these plastic fibers, which are comfortable enough, but they also come off, which you can see clearly under the seating. While I must admit, this one is a little cold in the winter because yeah, it's mesh. This one doesn't have that problem. So if that's something you're looking into, then uh, you should probably go for this. In the summer months, probably this one preferable. Obvious reasons. One thing I really must say also is that from the back it looks gorgeous. I get that. But from the front, it kind of looks weird. I don't really like it from the front. Wow, the pixelated design on the back is obviously gorgeous and looks great. I don't really like that it slides up and down in a curve. So in that way, if you want to move it like this, the uh, armrest is always on its side. Also, when I sit like this, I can still feel the edges here, um, which is not comfortable, but definitely better than this one. Um, this one really punishes you if you sit like this. But then again, um, yeah, you're supposed to sit like this on a couch, not on a office chair. When I'm working, when I'm editing, I just want to sit straight and have a good posture. And this one really helps me with that basically because it discourages with the sides here. I'm not sure if that's intentional or just a, uh, it's not a bug, but a feature uh, type of thing. But yeah, it punishes you if you go like this because it's not comfortable. And because of that, um, this one really pushes me towards that good ergonomic positioning. All in all, I really appreciate the design of the Embody. I really want to like it, but I'm more satisfied with the Aeron. 